my son woke up very early in the morning uh, uh, brought a panga carried a panga and hacked her mother on the neck actually it was so scary the panga was sharp my my clothes were all blood before the incident we were okay in terms of uh, uh, wealth we had a home we were a happy family no stress like i've said uh, actually money was not an issue this man has stayed by his wife's side for six years waiting for her death it's common to think that a mother's love for her child is perfect but can you imagine that this man has devoted the last six years caring for his seriously ill wife all because of their own son yes you heard me right once upon a time this family was leading a joyful life blessed with sufficient wealth however their happiness took a downturn when the mother fell seriously ill all because of their own son what weird thing their son did that reached his family where his mother had been waiting to pass away for six years and still suffers today. Yeah, my name is Adolfa Simba. Uh, I'm 65 years old. Uh, she's also uh, my wife by the name Sheba Simba. Actually, I, we got married in 1996, 91, sorry. We are blessed with two children man uh, a boy and a girl and uh, actually we started our journey when i finished high school i got an employment with the post office that time it was known as the postal corporation of kenya and actually she used to work at the supermarket that's how we met that's how we started our journey and I can't, I can't, I can't, I, I can't imagine where we are now and the way we started, by the way. Before the incident, we were okay. In terms of uh, uh, wealth, we had a home, we were a happy family, no stress. Like I've said, uh, actually, money was not an issue in terms of uh, our life. Our lifestyle was, was that one that was moderate, but we were okay. Now, after marriage, our journey, our journey to marriage actually was very, very successful until, uh, eight, I, I mean, uh, uh, until 2018, when my son woke up very early in the morning, uh, uh, brought a panga, carried a panga, and hacked her mother uh, on the neck. Actually, it was so scary. The panga was sharp. The two cats actually, uh, actually uh, uh, collapsed her. She, she fell down. Now, upon re uh, uh, seeing people or hearing people crying in my home because I was somewhere, uh, somewhere in neighborhood, I did. I couldn't. I couldn't know what's happening in my place. So. When I came, upon arrival, I found that that son had cut her some two deep cuts and actually she's lying down with a pool of blood in the room. Some, some, some people were like, they were like mourning. It was like a funeral home. You can imagine. And the, 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 the scare I got, it was really scary. Once their son did this, he quickly left. When the father arrived, he encountered some people telling him that his wife had passed away. However, being a determined man, he couldn't believe it. He rushed to her side, shook her, and discovered she was still breathing. The money was not an issue. He urgently sought a way to reach the hospital, but her condition was critical, and there was a risk she might not make it before they reached there. Fortunately, they reached the hospital, and the doctors began to help her. My, my clothes were all blood. Upon arrive, arrive, uh, uh, arriving hospital, actually I was look like, what is this? Who is this? Anyway, uh, after the third day, I requested them to, 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 to make a referral so that uh, I can take her to a senior hospital uh, for remedy. 
So this is where when they uh, refer that to Eldoret Hospital. Uh, also a referral hospital. But it's a senior hospital compared to the Kisi one because the, the, the doctors, the other place and this other side, uh, actually there's that difference, there's that gap. <laughs> now, actually still, after one week I was not able to get any answers to her problem. Uh, her issue was not addressed. So I, I, I sought an intervention from another doctor who told me, who advised me now. You know, this thing has to do with uh, a surgeon. Go and see an, a neurosurgeon. Even if it means going to uh, uh, the hospitals. There are several in, at Eldoret, I think. Eldoret is one place where you could get, uh, where you can get specialists in different uh, fields in terms of uh, medicine. I took her, I took her there. And uh, remember, from Kisi to Eldoret, I used an ambulance. From now, this district hospital, this other, other referral hospital, I'm using an ambulance. So I'm spending money. Uh, well, uh, I didn't know, I didn't know that money could be an issue because yeah, we had money. But we didn't know, we couldn't, we, we didn't know uh, whether the, 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 the st her stay in hospital uh, could have could could have could have been like the the, the way we stayed. So upon arrival, the doctor told me now uh, I want a deposit of five five hundred thousand shillings so that I am able to carry a surgery. The rest you'll come to pay later on. Now I told her this is quite abrupt. Why don't you do it and then let me arrange for the money? Actually, that's exactly what she, he did. The following day, she got a uh, she, she got a surgery. In fact, a very successful surgery again. Uh, there is this, you know, uh, there is this word they they, they, they call um, uh, an a surgery implant, mm. meaning there's an object mm. that is placed where the damage is, just. To act as a, 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 another bone, bone, yeah, of mm. course, mm. yeah. So it was very costly, of course, but she was able to smile within one week. Oh. Now we were we have we were forced to hold on a bit longer mm. because uh, we wanted to avoid uh, prolonged clinics. Mm. So she had he advised us to stay for another two weeks for us to, to, to be stable so that uh, eventually uh, it becomes easier for us to maybe to come a clinic once a month instead of weekly. Mm -hmm. So uh, after two weeks we agreed that uh, I look for a house nearby the hospital so that uh, in case of anything I'll be it will be it will be nearer mm -hmm. instead of going to kiss you know going to kiss means an ambulance. Mm -hmm to and from. I didn't want to incur such expenses. While at the hospital, they found out that their child had a mental disability and had been moved to a mental hospital. It was challenging for him since he couldn't be with everyone at the same time. The father chose to stay with his wife who was in critical condition Unfortunately, things were taking a turn for the worse on the other side as their financial situation began to decline. How long did he stay in that hospital? Like a month. What were the charges? <laughs> the charges were like beyond four million. Four million. Four million. Mm. Now, between me, myself, and her, our accounts had only 700,000 shillings. We used to sub supply cereal, mm -hmm. some food. Mm -hmm. we, we, seven, you know, 700 is not small money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's, the, that's, that's how rich we were. Mm -hmm. So actually, I was unable to contain the bill. Mm -hmm. I couldn't uh, pay the bill because it had become so much. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, one night, I decided to give up the plot. My, my residential mm. home mm. as a settlement mm. because I have no other ways. Mm. For each subsequent day mm. that passes by, 
it means the, the, the bill is also rising. Because per day, per bed, was so expensive. So expensive in the sense that uh, if I could have uh, maybe delayed for another maybe two, one, two weeks, you can imagine. It could have been gone, it, it, it could have gone far beyond my reach. So, when I could not reach the, I mean, when I could not meet the hospital bill, uh, you know, the, the 700,000 things I, I had, the, 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 the hospital could not uh, uh, listen to, for me to negotiate, to pay, so that the, the balance could maybe be coming subsequently later. I tried to persuade them. I tried to use uh, even some of my friends. They said no. They only gave me one condition. We have our, our lawyer, who is a, a legal officer, who can negotiate on behalf of you. Go to our lawyer, he'll give you a way forward. So I went to their lawyer, who by name, I think he was Mr. Juma, who, who gave me also a condition. Go home, bring you bring bring your title deed, deposit it with me, then I'll I'll give you the, 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 the patient and then pay later. And I'll give you some conditions. So I went home, wrote my title deed for that uh, home my home settlement. I had no choice. So I gave him the title deed. Uh, he drafted a letter for me to go and discharge her mm -hmm. from hospital and it looked uh, okay it looked uh, a very uh, a very tough uh, issue mm -hmm. but uh, I, I managed to penetrate mm -hmm. so he he gave me one condition now that I've discharged I've discharged you away from hospital uh, I'm giving you three months to pay the other balance which which was 3.4 million Okay, I rejoiced because I wanted to go back to the my local leaders, tell them this is what I what this is the condition. Now now I, my wife has been discharged. Please help me so that the title deed I deposited with the uh, hospital lawyer doesn't uh, disappear. Of course. Now, he had no option but to sell everything he owned to gather the required amount, but the total value of his belongings wasn't enough to settle the remaining debt. He had to sell his house and other belongings. However, the additional challenge was figuring out where to take his wife after leaving the hospital. Moreover, his wife's health was still fragile and she required further treatment. Actually, I got a friend of mine who negotiated who negotiated with the hospital. I gave him my land. He paid for me the bill. And I closed that chapter. Now the, the doctor has given me an okay that uh, now you can go home. She's, she's Mora. Mm. You can now take your darling home. Mm. Now, which home? Mm. There is no home. Mm. I requested the, the doctor to refer her to another hospital mm. so that I buy time because I don't have a home. So he had to refer her mm. to another private hospital known as Krista Marian in okay. Kisi, in Kisi for me to look for a bearing. A bearing in the sense that where do I take mama? The way the way we, we the way we love one another. Where do I take her? Because she's a patient, she cannot understand. Anyway, uh, I looked some few friends. We, 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 we raised some money for an ambulance. Went to Kisi, from Kisi. Now, a couple of days, I met some friends. We organized for a small house. We moved into that house. 
uh, even I used to tell the doctor, let me, let me, let me, uh, 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 my wife will be discharged next week, as if I'm the doctor, mm. to buy a time also. Oh, to get so, a place. So to get a place where she can, mm. I can, she, she can settle. Mm. I've seen it all. Mm. I've, I've seen, seen it all. In the middle of lots of problems and difficulties, he was fortunate to find a kind person who offered him a place to stay. Even though he got this opportunity, the challenges didn't end. They actually got worse than before because his wife couldn't complete her treatment. Now, after some, after a while, you know, we have been in Eldoret for some time, going to clinics. She decided, she uh, started developing rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis actually is, when severe, actually cripples somebody to a point that uh, she's bedridden like she's bedridden. Mm. Now, okay, I, like I remember, I've gone to, I've, I've, I've gone to nine different hospitals with her. Mm. Nine. Nine. Imagine. That's the Eldoret alone. Mm. <laughs> anyway, it's very difficult for me to explain at times. First of all, you know, I had two issues. Number one is uh, home settlement. Number two is that the arthritis again, uh, the, 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 the surgery triggered the, the arthritis later on, after two years. Now, it's like uh, the back of the, the lower back of uh, a body mm -hmm. wanted a surgery. Mm -hmm. When we came here in Nairobi some some one year ago, mm -hmm. we came to to this place. We came to Nairobi and saw Doctor Ombachi, who is a doctor for orthopedic mm -hmm. um, orthopedic spine and orthopedic surgery mm -hmm. at a house known as. Uh, Fortis House, mm -hmm. just uh, next to Kenyatta National Hospital. Mm -hmm. Now she, we, the, 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 we, we the, she was examined mm -hmm. and actually X-rayed. Mm -hmm. We have very many X-rays for uh, problems. Mm -hmm. Now she advised us on, on upon reading the X-ray that she requires another back surgery because the bones are. Are are, 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 are are not coordinating well. Mm. I told her, I, t I asked him, how much is required? Mm. He told me that you have to have 500,000. Mm. Oh my God, oh my God. 500,000. Again! Mm. I told her, I told him, doctor, doctor, let me go home, back home. I'll, I, I'll come back to you when I'm ready. When I'll get the money, I'll come, I'll always come back to you. So we went back home. You know, ambulance from Kisi to Nairobi is 30,000. Mm -hmm. Going back again is another 30,000. Mm -hmm. That means 60,000. From friends mm -hmm. and well wishers mm -hmm. from where, yeah, where, where I'm living. Because, mm -hmm. you know, if you are good, mm -hmm. I'm not saying I'm good, mm -hmm. but actually that, come, that money came from friends. Oh. <laughs> well. He never had the money to get his wife proper treatment, but this man proved to be a true hero. He never left his wife's side, even when they had left with nothing. You know that for, for over six years, you have been red ridden. I've not left you. Is it true? He held on to his integrity and continued to care for his wife without giving up. Now, uh, there were subsequent uh, follow-ups, clinics, medication. In totality, we have been with her for six good years. Bedridden. Bedridden. Mm -hmm. Seated by her side using that mm -hmm. chair. Mm -hmm. See, I told you that chair is both yeah. toilet, kila, kila kitu. Mm -hmm. So, six years. Mm -hmm. The most div devastating thing is at night. You know, it's that shift that you are both day mm. and night. For, for, for how many years? years. Six years. Mm. Day and night. You know, she cannot help herself. Mm. You know, if like this blanket, mm. 
she, she covers herself like this. Mm. She cannot uh, mm. come out of it and breathe. Oh. So every time you have to be fair, you have to be alert. Awake. Even if you are going out, out, out there, mm. you are supposed to know mm. by instinct mm. how long are you going to the toilet and back. Mm. Or else I'll call for a neighbor whom I trust mm. to come and sit with her. So it's a long journey. Mm. This is the medicine that she has taken, she has been, she has been taking for, since that time, mm. she was discharged. Okay. Although after now, the, after, after the, the other disease of arthritis, mm. now it means we, we had to add more. Yes. Because mm. you have to treat her, treat her from, uh, the nerves are very painful by the way. Mm. The nerves are very painful, especially when it's cold. Mm. So the nerves, nerves and uh, inflammation. I'm not a, doc a doctor, but I know. But you, you are, you are becoming like a doctor. Yeah. Over the years, he did everything he could to keep his wife alive, but his resources were limited. Now, he's reaching out and asking for any charity that would be willing to help his wife receive the treatment she needs to become healthy again. Now, I'm 65 years old. Mm. She's almost 60. Actually, I don't want to be separated by Mora. By losing her, I'm, 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 I'm requesting for all well-wishers, especially the Aprimax family, to come and support me. In terms of what? A home. If I can get somebody who is touched about this story, who can exactly, who can sacrifice and give me just a small portion of land, just a small one, and buy me a small portion of land, sure, I will be more than happy. I can even start building a madhouse for a, 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 a small room like this one. As much as I call it my own home. For example, if I, you know, something can happen. I'm not a young man, I'm not an old man. Anything can happen. Now, where, where can I be ready to rest, to rest, surely? Where can I be ready to rest? You know, uh, if, if I'll be so embarrassed as if it, it's my own problem. It's, it's, all, it's my, my own making, a problem on my own making. Imagine. Now, I'm pleading for the sake of this mama daughter, for the sake of Mora, for the sake of my wife. Surely, where am I taking her now that we are about to go home? If you have the kind heart to help, you can help him through givinglife.com by clicking the link in the description and in the top comments of this video. Remember that any amount of help can save a life. Thanks for watching. I am Brian Jason, and this is Aframax English. Please remember to subscribe.